I've been teaching for over 20 years and I started teaching in public schools in the state of Florida in the United States and uh, and then I began teaching in international schools about four or five years after that um, so every year my teaching changes yeah I, it's, I've had a lot of opportunities to meet a lot of different people and a lot of different students and with that um, comes change so I love teaching because I learn from um, my students and from their parents and from my colleagues. So I think that the learning that happens on a daily basis is really exciting and fun. It's where I, I guess I thrive, it inspires me. Mm -hmm. I think there's always a bit of a student teacher barrier and um, sometimes it's really difficult to overcome, to break through those barriers, whether it's a little bit of like discomfort or nervous en energy in the classroom um, or sort of a, a wondering of what the expectations are going to be. Uh, some students feel really um, shy and, and there's that barrier. Uh, but I try, I try to, to bridge the gap uh, of distance between my students and I, and you know, the, the older I get, the more distance there is in that sense too, right? Like there, there's that, and there's the sort of dinosaur aspect of being here at AOSR for more than 17 years. So those are some hurdles that exist. But, and there's distance in the way that we operate. Like I still write things on my calendar. I still write things in a notebook. Um, for a lot of my students, that feels like an archaic approach to note taking or remembering. And, and that's, that's something that I'm always looking to try to, to lessen the distance. Um, of course, of course, lots of friends and coaches and, and teachers, but, um, but I didn't love high school. Um, I really wanted out. I was sort of excited, I guess, and anxious and really searching for independence. And I saw finishing high school as a means to that. So, um, so part of being in school for me has definitely influenced my teaching. I think about, okay, what kind of cl classroom culture am I creating? Um, but there was certainly an English teacher who pushed me to take uh, advanced courses that I ha would might not have taken if she hadn't encouraged me, and and I really appreciated that that boost. Yeah. Uh, being an English teacher means never knowing whether you're teaching the right content or not to a certain degree. Uh, there are the skills, the overarching skills that we're always trying to teach in the classroom, but the texts that we choose to get there vary. Um, and, and often we have a lot of opportunity to choose ourselves, And that means that there's a little bit of pressure and wondering of, did I choose the right book? Did I choose the right poems? Um, is it topical? Is it poignant? Will it offend, right? Like all of these kinds of questions are, are floating around in, in an English teacher's mind. So I'm, I guess I constantly feel like there's something missing or there's something that I haven't necessarily taught. And I try, I try to mix things up and, and change the, the texts every few years, not all, and not every year, that's, that's not necessary, but every three, every five years, I try to infuse the curriculum with something new and something different. Uh, biggest question of the day, I feel like everyone's wondering that. No, truly, I really do. I think teachers are wondering that, I think parents are wondering that, I think kids are sitting in desks wondering is this really going to prepare me for the future? And I'm not so sure any of us have the answer. Um, I feel lucky to teach English, to teach writing and reading and speaking and thinking, because that's something that we will all need forever. Um, but the way in which we do it is evolving. And, um, and even the expectations that we have for what good writing looks like uh, or good speaking looks like is changing. Uh, so I'm wondering that too. While we all want to think, yes, 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 many of us worry that we don't have a lasting effect or, or that we have the opposite, you know, that, that we discourage a student in some way. I think that's the biggest fear that a teacher has. Um, 
Of course, I would like to think that that uh, that I've been encouraging and inspiring in some way. Um, once in a while, I, I see old faces, so students come back to the to say hello, and that reminds me that that we still have a connection. And just hearing about their lives and their and what they're aspiring to do helps me feel like there's there's been a, a good impact, a positive impact there. <laughs>